A man casually picks up a simple rock on the beach, unaware of the secret it holds. 35 years later, a startling revelation shakes his life to its core. Ten-year-old Cy Dunn stood on the beach south of Whitby one Saturday morning, his toes sinking into the damp sand. He wandered along the shore, looking for something unusual. His small hands sifted through the stones, feeling their textures and weights. Most were smooth and rounded, shaped by the ocean's waves, but Cy was in search of something different, a rock with a potential secret. Hours went by and his pockets remained empty. Just as he was about to give up, his fingers touched something out of the ordinary. Amidst the sea of pebbles lay a rock that was unlike any he had come across before. It was larger than his fist and felt heavier than it appeared. Its surface was rough and uneven, almost organic in texture. Sai picked up the oddly shaped stone. It wasn't particularly eye-catching. No sparkle, no vibrant colors, just a large, irregular rock. Yet it intrigued him. He turned it around in his hands, feeling its weight and texture. Although it didn't seem remarkable, Sai decided to keep it, if only because it stood out from the countless other pebbles on the beach. As the sun began to set, he placed the stone in his pocket and started his walk home, feeling its weight with each step. As he neared the exit, Sai saw an older man walking in the same direction. The man carried a woven bag that jingled with the sound of stones. Noticing Sai's disappointed look, the man fell in step beside him. Tough day for collecting, huh? The man asked, his voice rough but kind. Sai nodded and mentioned that he hadn't found anything particularly interesting. The man's eyes sparkled as he reached into his bag. Well, maybe this will brighten your day, he said, pulling out a small stone that glistened in the fading light. It was smooth and round, with a pearlescent sheen. How about we trade it for that big one in your pocket? Sai's hand instinctively moved to his pocket, feeling the shape of his peculiar rock. The shimmering stone was certainly more attractive, but Sai felt a strange connection to the rock he had found. Thanks, but I think I'll hold on to this one, Sai said, surprised by his own choice. The man nodded with a knowing smile. Sometimes the most unremarkable things hide the greatest secrets, he said enigmatically, before wishing Sai well and continuing on his way. That night, Sai placed the rock on his bedside table, puzzled by why he kept it. As he slept, he dreamed of ancient seas and mysterious creatures. That simple rock sparked a curiosity in him about the hidden secrets of the earth. As Sai grew, his interest in the rock grew into a love for geology. He spent his school years focused on earth science, excelling in projects, and later pursuing a degree in the field. His dedication led him to a PhD in paleontology, and his research on prehistoric marine ecosystems gained recognition. Sai's career took him across the globe, from Arizona's deserts to Antarctica's icy plains. Throughout his travels, the Whitby Rock remained a constant reminder of where his journey began. At 45, Sai returned to Whitby as the lead researcher at a geological research center. He settled with his wife, Lena, and their children, Emma and Jack. Their home filled with rocks and fossils became a place of learning and exploration for the family with Sai's passion for geology inspiring them all. From the outside, Sai's life seemed perfect. He had a successful career, a loving family, and had returned to where his journey began. But in his office, surrounded by accolades and rare specimens, he felt unfulfilled. Despite his achievements, the groundbreaking discovery he dreamed of remained elusive. One day, while taking a break, a loud bang from above jolted him. The laughter of Emma and Jack and their friends abruptly stopped. An uneasy silence followed. He hurried upstairs to find his attic door ajar and his prized stone collection scattered across the floor. Emma, Jack, and their friends stood in shock. Sai's anger faded as he saw the memories associated with each stone. Kneeling beside them, he said softly, It's okay. Let's clean this up together. As they worked, Sai picked up a smooth black rock streaked with white feeling a renewed connection to his past. This, Sai said, holding up the rock for the children to see, is from the beaches of Iceland. The white streaks are quartz, formed when molten rock cooled quickly. The children's fear shifted to curiosity as they began examining the stones and asking about their origins. Sai described the red sandstone from Arizona, the geode from Brazil, and a meteorite he'd recovered in Siberia. 
As he spoke, Sai felt a familiar spark reignite. The passion that had waned recently was rekindled, reflected in the children's wonder. His hand brushed against the Whitby stone and his breath caught when he noticed a hairline crack, likely from the fall. He'd carried this rock for 35 years without ever breaking it open. Now, fate had intervened. With trembling hands, he worked his fingers into the crack. Emma's voice broke his concentration, asking, What are you doing, Dad? Sai didn't answer, focusing intently. The stone split cleanly, revealing its hidden interior. Inside were fossils, ammonites with spiral shells, glistening in the dim light. But these were extraordinary. Kids, Sai called, his voice barely a whisper. Come here, you need to see this. The children gathered around, eyes widening as they looked at the broken stone. Sai's excitement grew as he analyzed the fossils. These are ammonites, he said, his voice gaining strength. Sea creatures from millions of years ago. But these are different. This species is unknown. Sai's mind raced. The size, shape, and preservation of these fossils were exceptional. I've never seen ammonites like these before. They're from the Jurassic period, but finding them here, it's unprecedented. Jack reached out, touching one of the spiral shells. So you're saying we found something no one's ever seen before? Sai nodded, grinning. Exactly. This little rock I picked up as a kid. It's been hiding this secret all along. As the discovery sank in, Sai felt a surge of joy and fulfillment. The breakthrough he'd been chasing his entire career had been in his hands all along. You know what this means, kids? Sai asked, looking at their awestruck faces. We're going to need a bigger lab. We have a lot of work ahead. In that dusty attic, surrounded by scattered stones and wide-eyed children, Sai realized his life had changed forever. The Whitby Stone had not only shaped his career, but had also delivered the discovery of a lifetime. Holding the two halves of the rock, he understood that the greatest discoveries often come when we least expect them, sometimes hiding in plain sight. News of Sai's find spread rapidly through the scientific community. His phone buzzed with calls and messages from colleagues worldwide, all eager to study the fossils and join what was becoming the paleontological event of the decade. It was soon revealed that the fossils belonged to a sea creature from 240 to 65 million years ago, extinct alongside the dinosaurs. Sai found himself at the center of a whirlwind of activity. Universities requested lectures, Journals sought papers, and television producers pitched documentaries. His quiet, contemplative life was transformed overnight into a frenzy of interviews and presentations. Museums made staggering offers to fund his research and secure his family's future. Each offer was tempting, promising not only financial security, but a place in history for his discovery. Yet as the offers grew, Sai hesitated to part with the fossils. They had become more than scientific specimens. They were a link to his past, a physical embodiment of his journey. Weeks later, Sai stood on Whitby Beach, the same stretch of sand where he had found the unremarkable rock as a child. Lena stood beside him, her hand warm in his. The beach was quiet, the tourist season long over. The soothing sounds of waves and gulls provided a backdrop to his thoughts. He took a deep breath, the salty air grounding him. You know, Sai said, breaking the silence, I could sell these fossils. The offers are beyond anything I ever imagined. We'd be set for life. Lena squeezed his hand gently, sensing the gravity of the decision. But, she prompted. Sai smiled, appreciating her understanding. But I think I'll keep them, Sai said. They're worth more to me than any amount of money. This discovery isn't just about the fossils. It's about the journey the years of searching, the doubts, the persistence. It's about that day 35 years ago when a young boy picked up a rock and found his calling. He paused, gazing at the horizon where the North Sea met the sky. The setting sun bathed the scene in gold and orange, casting long shadows on the beach. These fossils remind us that the most extraordinary things can be found in the most ordinary places, Sai continued. They show that patience and perseverance lead to incredible rewards, and that life can still surprise you, even after 35 years. Lena nodded, understanding the depth of his sentiment. So what's next? She asked. Sai's eyes sparkled with renewed passion. 
Research, lots of it. These fossils could change our understanding of Jurassic marine life in this region. There's so much to learn, so many questions to answer, and who knows, maybe there are more secrets hidden in the rocks along this beach. What began with a curious boy picking up a rock on the beach had led to a defining moment in Sai's life. It had reignited his love for his field and reminded him why he chose this path. The beach behind him was quiet, its secrets buried beneath sand and waves. For Sai, it would always be the place where his greatest adventure started and where he discovered that sometimes the most valuable treasures are the ones we've carried with us all along. What unexpected treasures have you held on to for years? How might they surprise you? Share your thoughts in the comments and subscribe for more incredible scientific revelations.